All right, what's going on, Full Circle Nation? Uh, it's Dean here from Full Circle Landscape Solutions. Uh, what I want to show you today is this truck, P4. I actually bought this truck last year around this time. Actually, yeah, around this time last year. Uh, a little earlier than this, actually, probably like January or some, or maybe, I don't know, last winter, basically. And uh, now we're gonna we're putting this bed on it right here. And basically what we're gonna do is be able to drive lawnmowers right up into this truck bed. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to um, be way more efficient on our routes. You know, we do really well on Doyle's time. It's kind of like a ramp rack, but it's better than a ramp rack because it fits 16 inch mowers. Um, I think total build cost is gonna be somewhere, you know, in the neighborhood of 2,500 plus um, about a week's labor, a week's labor with one of the guys and me spending about a week here on and off. Um, and basically, you know, what we got going on here is this is the headache rack. This is the actual structure of it the frame and then back here you know this is the dovetail and then this is going to be the hinge and then that goes down there to the ramp that comes up and down uh it's going to attach to those things there's going to be a piece of uh, angle line that starts here and goes all the way across and that's going to have um expanded metal in it this is going to be expanded metal that's going to be expanded metal and this is going to be wood i'm just kind of going over this because i've you know was trying to figure out how to build one of these so i wanted to help anybody it's, it is trying to do it um you know we have it uh welded to the f here to um these pieces of four inch angle iron and those bolts to the frame under there as you can see um same thing here here this one just bolts to the frame under there uh this one same thing as that one we had to put some uh 20 it's like 20 gauge stack just to make it fit because the frame went down a little bit here they already had balance nice and ready for us off the frame from the initial bed here we're going to extend out the gas tank uh, over here so we can fill it up a little easier um, or you know actually not have it be in the way here uh, other than that this is three inch c channel um i kind of stole this looking design from i think it's bu enterprises he has a youtube channel i got this really cool stuff on there um but kind of this is how he built one of his so i just totally built it like this with the frame uh this is just angle iron flipped up so we can stick wood under here so wood will slot into this all the way down um this is four inch mainly because our steel supply ran out of three inch um and then we're gonna put more we're gonna put another one of these here we just ran out of angle iron uh here same thing on that side and then this is gonna have them every 10 inches apart i believe this is quarter inch angle iron um this is eighth inch you know a lot of the stuff all the um structural stuff is quarter or quarter inch thick and then all the not structural stuff is eighth inch so uh yeah that's this truck you know it's bomb it should be really cool I'm really excited for that uh, P4P. The, P, the team's probably going to be fighting over who gets to use this one. We're going to put this one on the city route. Uh, the other one on more of the route that does some of the bigger homes. And, you know, that way you can fit the trailer in. Um, other than that, uh, what we got going on, uh, you know, we're just uh, doing our best to stay busy as the year. Kind of, we're in the spot where, like, there's not a ton to do. We were supposed to do a project, but that one fell through somehow. Beats me um and yeah other than that we're just um you know we're hanging out here trying to get ready for spring i'm knocking items off the spring to-do list this was a big one um so i'm really glad we're at the point we're at you know we probably have another two days left on this uh maybe three with all the finishing touches we have to do um i'm just glad that this is coming to a close because i was really worried that we weren't gonna have this done in time for spring um then we'd obviously be down to mowing trucks so it's a whole thing and uh, it's kind of a daunting prod now now that it's here it's not that daunting but it was daunting to think about okay we're just gonna buy steel and make a bed with it so um it's really cool that it's um you know went well we obviously have to paint it and everything but i'm uh i gotta say i'm pretty happy with it so um yeah this one's mainly just about the truck bed. i'll talk about more about other stuff we got going on uh later next week or something like that but i appreciate you guys tuning in and have an awesome rest of your day peace